Brandon is just an awesome, awesome young man. I'm looking forward to seeing what he grows up to be and how he carries on his life. Has been the best son ever. Um, I couldn't ask for a better boy. Um, he's he's really touched my heart. My dad, he's pretty cool. He's better than all your other dads, just saying. And he'd pretty much do anything for me. Legit, just legitly anything, probably. And my mom, she's always there for me. And if I get a bad grade, she's always on my back about it, which I guess is a good thing. It's cool, dude. Um, at the adoption home, I had this, just a small little bed or a little yoga mat thing, a baby bed and one pillow, and I only had one pair of clothes and three toys. That's all. We wanted somebody under the age of nine, and we preferably younger than that, and uh, walking and talking, and potty trained, which in this case still had a potty trainer. We had to go through parenting classes through DHS, which lasted several weeks. We had to have home inspections. Uh, we had to have physicals, uh, FBI checks. Uh, background checks. Um, they came out to our house and reviewed all of our finances and and everything. They do a very thorough uh, check. I was like three years old, and um, mainly because they they their house looked better, and the people that I looked at before were like really creepy looking. They were like, one of the guys were like eating Cheetos and his house is dark and he's like. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> and it scared me to death. And then I walked in here and then I had a basket of balls, bouncy balls and crap. I was like, oh yeah, look at this dude and I'm about to stop balling. <laughs> and this is now, I'm probably way better than I would have been back then if I didn't get adopted.